I looked for a lot of bikes and this one felt like it was designed for me. Ollie Blyle has cycled around Halifax streets for a decade. And so I got a bike and got addicted and before I knew it I was riding three, four hundred kilometers a week. But like many other cyclists, he's endured his fair share of injuries. One accident landed him in the hospital. The police told me afterwards that he left a 79 meter skid and I was in about the middle of it. He came back to see if I was all right and my first response was, he wrecked my ride. Here on the Bedford Highway, the bike lanes are unprotected, a painted line with no barrier. Blyle recounts a close call with a city bus. He was pulling along beside me and I literally had no room to move. Like he was inches from my left hand and I couldn't go to the right because there was a curb. So I felt kind of trapped. Halifax has multiple unprotected bike lanes where the speed limit is 60 kilometers per hour. According to a peer-reviewed study in 2013, pedestrians hit at that speed have a near 50% chance of death. Plenty of signs warn drivers about bikes on their right, but an advocate says protected bike lanes do a better job of keeping cyclists like Blyle safe. Alan Riappel is with the Halifax Cycling Association paper it looks great you know right like they can still say oh we put in a bike lane here but you'll go to actually ride it and it's extremely unsafe it's not doing what it's meant to do which is make people feel safe and protect vulnerable road users like cyclists. Riappel says there's still a lot of work to do in Halifax. The hierarchy needs to kind of be flipped on its head and that cars are lowest and active transportation is higher. We reached out to the Halifax Regional Municipality for comment but didn't hear back in time for this story. Ryan Belfontaine the signal, Halifax.